This is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. The entire beginning of the 1996 season was unbelievable for the defending champion Dallas Cowboys. Bad breaks and nagging injuries would plague them throughout the season. Heartbreaking losses tested the character of the team. Snap, ball down, kick in the air. It's just... They rallied in the second half of the season and established their rightful place as America's team. Wide open, Eric Bjornsson caught, touchdown Dallas, and the Cowboys come barreling back. Fighting back against the NFL's toughest schedule, the Cowboys made the playoffs for the sixth straight year. Dallas was fighting for their playoff lives as they brought a 1-3 and three record to Philadelphia to face the Eagles. And they found themselves down by 10 early in the game. Herschel Walker's return jump-started the Cowboys' offense, which quickly got back on track as Emmett Smith helped set up their first touchdown. Third and goal, steps up, goes to the end zone, caught, touchdown, Dallas, Eric Bjornsson has given the Cowboys their first touchdown of this game. Deion Sanders shined at wide receiver and helped put Smith in position for the go-ahead score. Emmett Smith, handoff, he scores easily. The defense never let the Eagles back in the game. And this could be the win that starts a very good October run for Dallas. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Miami, number 88, Michael Irvin. The return of perennial all-pro wide receiver Michael Irvin sparked the Cowboys against the Cardinals. While Irvin did his damage through the air, Emmett Smith led the Cowboys ground assault, and his two touchdowns were all the Cowboys would need. And off Emmett Smith, big hole, 10, 5, touchdown. Quick snap and count, hits to Emmett Smith, sweeping left, touchdown. See you later, Cardinal. Dallas looked for their third win in a row against the Falcons. Start fast. We're going to win on three. One, two, three. Win! The offense dominated right from the start. Kick, but not necessarily that deep. A yard deep in the end zone. Herschel Walker to return to the left up to the 15 to the 20. Look out. It's outside. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. He may score to the 30, to the 20, to the 15. He's tripped up from behind. Down to the nine-yard line. And the count. The defense got in some good shots, but Atlanta started hitting back and took the lead late in the game. The Cowboys would have one chance to win and they immediately seized the day and the game. Johnston, Aikman throws over the middle, wide open. Kelvin Martin, he made a long way to the 30, 25, 20. Look at it run, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown! They made it all the way. Sixty yards. There's your football game. I'm drained. <laughs> I'm absolutely drained. That, that was an up and down, woo.
four out there. Their third victory in a row revealed that this team would simply never give up. It's going to be a game tonight. So y'all sit tight. Let's get ready to rumble. Three, oh, three. One, two, three. Win. With identical four and three records, both Dallas and Miami were in the hunt for the playoffs. But in this commotion by the ocean, the Cowboys' offense was the first to make some noise. Throws caught. Touchdown. Michael Irvin had a huge day, catching 12 passes for 186 yards and a touchdown. Third and goal from the two. Aikman throws to the end zone. Caught touchdown. Michael Irvin on the slant. Irvin with his hands spread wide open and the football held up in the air. Let's go, man. Come on, man. Hey, no lend up. No lend up. They're going to be coming. The defense easily handled the vaunted Dolphins offense, but Miami had no answer for Troy Aikman, who passed for over 300 yards with three touchdowns. Looks down the middle of the field, throws caught by Emmitt Smith, touchdown. Yeah! Two teams, four and three, to keep playoff hopes alive, we needed to win. And uh, for that reason, it was nice. The offense was coming alive at just the right time. Quarterback Troy Aikman, running back Emmett Smith and wide receivers Deion Sanders and Michael Irvin were at the top of their games during the four-game winning streak that saw Dallas claw back into the playoff hunt. Up front, the offensive line consisted of four pro bowlers, tackle Eric Williams, center Ray Donaldson, and guards Nate Newton and Larry Allen. And while they gave Troy Aikman time to find targets like fullback Daryl Johnston, their main job was opening holes for number 22, Emmett Smith. But Smith isn't simply about touchdowns. He's a complete running back. Nobody blocks as hard. Runs as hard. has the ability to combine power running with impossible moves. For the sixth straight year, Smith rushed for over 1,000 yards, and he continued his assault on the NFL record book with 15 touchdowns. With the offense focused on the playoffs, Dallas was ready for the second half of the season. Hosting the Eagles seemed a good opportunity for America's team to gain an easy win. After all, they'd beaten the Eagles at Philadelphia and were at the top of their game. But individual moments of greatness were not enough as they fell in heartbreaking fashion at home. Their next two games versus two of the NFL's best teams, it was time to test the character of the 1996 Cowboys. rose to the challenge, knocking 49er quarterback Steve Young out of the game. Come on, now, let's go! Let's go! 
The offense responded in kind, and Dallas took an early lead. Cowboys are going to pass here. No quarterback draw. Aikman slips, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. But San Francisco is not the kind of team to roll over for anyone. And they came back to take the lead. Dallas drove right back down the field and prepared to tie the game when disaster struck. The five -yard line. But instead of throwing in the towel, the Cowboys threw down the gauntlet. Gerbach throws over the middle, intercepted by the Cowboys. It's a five-step drop, sets up, throws the fade, wide open. Eric Bjornsson, caught, touchdown Dallas. In overtime, Emmett Smith set up the game-winning field goal attempt. become a white hot rivalry. Dallas would be kept out of the end zone all day. Keep playing, guys. Keep playing. Nice job. Nice job. And it's good. And Bonio has ripped it right through once again. But the special team shine, and a record tying seven field goals were enough for another Cowboy win. The Cowboys were experiencing a renaissance in the second half, in large part due to their renaissance man, Deion Sanders. On offense, he showed the speed and moves everyone knew he had. But he also showed he was no one-dimensional threat going over the middle for the tough grabs. At cornerback on defense, Dion simply eliminates half the field for the opposing quarterback. Rarely challenged, Dion showed he isn't one dimensional on defense either, and criticism of his lack of hitting was put to rest. But Dion will always be known as an impact player, and nobody on defense makes as many big plays. in the playoff hunt, the Cowboys were also looking to capture their fifth straight NFC East title. Arizona, the defense overwhelmed the Cardinals, while on offense, Michael Irvin had his biggest day of the year, catching passes for almost 200 yards and a touchdown. Aikman back to 
pass, throws downfield for Michael Irvin. Miraculously catches the ball at the 30. It's a race to the end zone. Now, to wrap up the NFC East, all America's team had to do was beat the eventual AFC champion, New England Patriots. Go down. Drop somebody else, take over the throne. Hey, hey, we know where it's stink now. Let's go ahead and play hard. Four quarters, hard. Intensity, aggressive, enthusiasm, kick somebody's ass. Let's hit the stink. Herschel Walker and Emmett Smith set up field goals, and that was all the offense would need as the defense continued their incredible play during the stretch drive to the playoffs. We're going to have to win the game. Offense put in. we got to make a big play. Let's go with it. The high-powered Patriot offense was held to two field goals. Late in the season, when the offense struggled, the defense was there to pick up the slack. We gotta have the slack defense now. Here we go. One, two, three. Defense. For most of the season, they were ranked number one in the NFL. Pro Bowl defensive end Tony Tolbert recorded 12 sacks. And when teams double-teamed him, Charles Haley, Leon Lett, and Chad Hennings made them pay. The linebacking core contained some of the team's hardest hitters. Kevin Smith excelled at cornerback being tested often as teams rarely threw at Deion Sanders. Safety Darren Woodson returned to the Pro Bowl and simply owned his area of the football field. And safety Brock Marion showed that he's ready to become a star. With the defense in peak form, the Cowboys entered the playoffs. offense that had been on cruise control in the latter part of the season shifted into high gear versus the Vikings. Aikman to bootleg being chased. A heel back blocked by Larry Allen gets Aikman free. He dives to the end zone and scores. Safety George Teague turned in one of the best individual efforts ever in the playoffs, starting by saving a sure Viking touchdown. Can't lead to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, fumbles the ball into the end zone, now fumbles out of the end zone. This may not be a touchdown. And off Leroy Ward, and he has a big hole up the middle, but the ball's stolen out of his hands by Sanders. He laterals back to one of the Cowboy linebackers. The offensive line and Emmett Smith immediately capitalized on the turnover. Nothing over the Vikings. Come on, then the entire Cowboy defense simply took over the game. Pass, roll 
with the right. Johnson looks up, back across the field. It's intercepted by the Cowboys. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys had overcome incredible adversity to make it back to the playoffs. And although their season ended the next week against the Panthers, Dallas showed in the 1996 season the character and will to win that has come to symbolize America's team. 1996 was the 25th anniversary of Texas Stadium, a revolutionary sporting arena. Tradition and pride is rooted deep in Texas Stadium as some of the Cowboys' most memorable moments, from their inaugural Texas Stadium win against the Patriots, to Tony Dorsett's 204 yards against the Eagles in his rookie year. To Roger Starbuck's last game at Texas Stadium, where Captain Comeback showcased the magic that made him a cowboy legend. Time and again, this legend rallied his team, showing the never-say-die attitude that made him the most dangerous come-from-behind player ever. And the stars continue to shine in Dallas, where in 1995, Emmett Smith scored an NFL record 25 touchdowns. And the Cowboys won the NFC Championship en route to their record-tying fifth Super Bowl victory. the Cowboy All-Pros of yesterday to the All-Pros of today. No team has a richer history than the Dallas Cowboys. There is a bond that connects all the Cowboys heroes. To be a member of America's team is to be a member of one of the greatest organizations in all of sports. The game's brightest stars shine in Dallas, where they carry on a tradition that began in the 60s and continues today. The tradition of America's team. New Edge ProGel presents the Dallas Cowboys Ultimate Performance of 1996. Week 11 saw another epic struggle between the Cowboys and 49ers. Tough defense kept the high-flying San Francisco offense grounded, while quarterback Troy Aikman scored the first Cowboys touchdown. Fred Strickland's fourth quarter interception set up Eric Bjornsson's game time score. Chris Bonio's overtime kick booted the boys to a 20-17 hard-fought road win. <laughs> 